Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Symbiosis, which is an RPG Maker horror game, where you play a witch that lives in a witch's house with their child, and occasionally they may or may not experiment on people. Deep within the forest, there is a grove where the tree branches grasp and claw at your neck, and the air is a thick miasma, choking the very life out of you. In the center of the grove lies the witch's house, no relation to a certain other witch's house. Arrogant, mighty, and wretched. Okay, maybe some relation. Having forsaken all good company, save her monstrous creations, the witch tolls away at her projects, day in and day out, without a care. However, once in a blue moon, a traveler vanishes into the mist, never to be seen again. Rumors dance about these poor souls. These poor, unfortunate souls. Some say they lost their way in the forest. Others say they've been changed. But more say they were slain. It was all of them. But all agree, it's the fault of the witch in the cursed house of hers. Now let's see, will there be a twist? And it's not a big deal? And you know, it's, it's a nice witch? Or maybe it won't be. Maybe it's, you know, like the witch's house. <sighs> Calm down. Come down! That old hag couldn't have followed you down here. Crap, crap! I should find somewhere to hide. Quick! Wait, I'm not. Who am I? I'm playing the red shirt! Oh no! Yes. Some chemical formulas? Eva would take everything out. There's no way I'll fit in there. Oh, you can at least try. This isn't time for examining things. You sure about that? Because I think it is. Can I hide by this shelf? The gap is too narrow. This isn't time for examining things. I don't even want to imagine what this is used for. Time to die? Yes, I think I can hide in here. Yes, it's obvious spot. The only hiding spot in the place. Sure. found you. <laughs> That's how it be. Good. Hardly any mess, and the body's in good condition. Apologies for cutting your life short, but your death won't be in vain. Hello? Patricia, are you there? A walkie-talkie, and a high-quality one of that. Now, why would you have one of those? Most tourists only bring a cell phone. Please respond! Unless you weren't just the usual last tourist, were you? Maybe they prepared for lack of phone signal and already planned on splitting up. Just who were you? Is someone there? What? If I knew you weren't just some tourist, I would have waited before killing you. But alas, all that's left is to find your friends. Should I answer? Yeah, answer. Who are you? Where's Patricia? She is unavailable. Now, who are you? Silence. They disconnected. Those intruders in the house. They would be a problem if left unchecked. There shouldn't be too many places where they could hide. Hmm. She have one of my old journals? She must have stolen when she broke in. Journal add to your inventory. If you were still alive, I'd get my answers. Sadly, I can't ask you now. What an obvious place to hide. Foolish girl. Scientific process for creating a... Sensor bar. Take a sample of a mandragora. Tissue which you tend to use as embryonic base model for the plant homunculus. Hmm. Most of the stuff is just not applicable to me. Did not move and interact with the mixture in a period of time. When this is done, the solution you create should be a dark burgundy color and have congealed to the existence of a paste. 
The next steps must be followed exactly for the best chance at a proper outcome. There is follows. Fill a fine tip syringe with said solution. In a sterile environment, take a fresh grouse egg and inject the solution into it. Take the egg and bind it in an incubator within a four gallon circular container filled with the blood of a man for six months. During this time, change one third of the blood every six weeks. Do not remove the subject from the blood and keep the environments dark and sterile. After these six months, you should remove the specimen from the blood. Open up the incubator and nurture what you have created. Make sure it gets the nutrition needs. 3.13. Hmm. What's going on in here? There's not much of this person left. Instructions on how to extract blood from a pig. Originally used by butchers. Oh, we're getting it from pigs, all right. This diagram tells you the best locations to lacerate. As it goes, humans and pigs share 98% of their DNA. It's easy enough to apply one method for the other. I don't think it quite works that way exactly, but who am I to say? The body's hanging upside down, allowing the blood to drip down from the neck. That's some good draining you got going on there. Doesn't look delicious. Even you're not used to this. A couple of jars. Now... Okay, we just save like mainly like this. Surgery tools. You don't use them for surgery, though. You're a scientist, not a doctor. It's lost its original purpose. How sad. I lost track of time easily, unfortunately. You like to keep your workplace clean. Except for all this blood everywhere, you know. That's, that's for the atmosphere. You gotta leave that. Free red paint, you know what I mean? You don't particularly enjoy botany. But these were needed. For checking someone's vinyls. You don't use as much as you used to. <laughs> they can give you a live. Compound analyzer. You don't use as much as you used to. Research logs. Most of the logs record a series of failure after failure. You can no longer be too upset about it. So I guess we were, um... I'm assuming we're trying to cure or maintain something. So we have to use people. Forcibly, of course. When I bought this board, I thought I'd use it more often. I don't even need this memo anymore. The formula's burned into my brain. Mom? Mom, are you there? That kid's still awake. Such unfortunate timing. Mint, what is it? Mom, look at my drawing! Hmm. Look at drawing. It's lovely, dear. Isn't it? I spent lots of time on it. It's you and me. Um... You're a cat with a uh, sprout growing out of your head? Yo, you must be under the hat, right? Because you are a, uh, homunculi. He thinks I look like this. You don't? Art is hardly a strong suit. I suppose nobody ever taught him how to draw. I'll stick it on the fridge. Now, shouldn't you be asleep? <laughs> I tried to sleep, really. It's hard when the night's so quiet. Maybe if Mom read me a bedtime story and tucked me into bed. I'd be a good boy and snooze faster. Now, now, Mint, you know I must murder people around this time of night. Considering the situation, it'll be worse to leave him wanting by himself. Very well, let's go to your room. Don't get too close to the fire, or you'll get burned. I know, Mom, because you're a plant. It's your spell book. I can't read any of this, Mom. I'll teach you when you're older. They don't actually mean anything. The house just needs some decor. 10th of January. I can't sleep today and went to Mommy's room. She said that I'm a big boy now. And I should be able to sleep by myself, but she is wrong. I'm a small, tiny boy. I can reach the counter by myself. Well, she let me stay in the end. Mom always says that I can't do something and that I must have to say please, please, please enough times that she'll say I can. 
She's like a boiled egg. That's only hard on the outside. I still can't eat candy, though. Mint's diary. He leaves these all over the house. Hey, kitchen. I've been thinking. Should we get more chairs? What if we get guests? Oh, they'll have plenty of places to sit in the freezer. We don't really get guests. We live in the middle of nowhere. The uninvited ones don't count. Who knows? Maybe someone will show up. Life is full of surprises. I don't think I like surprises very much. Hey, remember when I ate some jam and got super sick? Can you eat jam? Like, what do you eat? I did. It wasn't funny. It was just a stomach ache. You're a worry word. Anyway, I read something about increased exposure of allergies. You develop tolerance the more you get exposed to it. Maybe you should just give me a little amount of jam every day. That would only work if you're allergic to jam. Your stomach ache was not caused by allergy. I wish it was just that. You only feed on blood, don't you? Mmm, blood jam. I want to eat more of Mom's cooking. Well, that all depends if enough people come to visit, hon. I don't have a lot that I can cook for you. You should try new things more often. Isn't that what being a scientist is about? I can't seem to let go of caffeine, unfortunately. You and me both! What does coffee taste like? Hope. Nah, I'm joking, it's the opposite. Bitter. You won't like it. I won't know till I try. Well, unfortunately, you can't. Shucks. Oh, are you going to replace this one with a new one? There's enough space for two. Well, I think the old one sucks, and you should throw it away. Huh. Absolutely not. I'm keeping it. Once he's older, he's not going to give me his drawings anymore. I have to save them while I can. But can't you see how much I improved? I can, actually. A couple of pots. Oh, here's another diary. 20th of March. Today I was watching TV, and I asked Mommy if there really is that many people in the city. It seems fake. Mommy's the only person that I know, after all. She told me something about school. Like, kids will be forced to sit for eight hours to study for that long? And all my kids my age do that? I'm glad I'm living in the forest and not there. Although I'm curious about whatever people my age are like. Are, are they as short as me? Mommy said that other people are dangerous, though. She said I should never let my guard down. Here's the living room. Mom, that's not the way to my room. Nice chair. 14th of July. Mommy only lets me watch cartoons these days, but I don't mind. They're more fun anyway. I guess I asked too many questions the last time she said a grown-up movie on. Oopsies! Penguins are so cute. I asked Mommy to bring me one, but she said that there's no penguins around here. Pengy. She did bring me a bird, though, but the next day I can't find it anymore. I guess it went home to its mom. Hmm. I have to put this here because you keep crying in cartoons. I can't help it, I'm sensitive. And it's kind of your fault for showing me that movie where the deer's mom died. Yeah, I shouldn't have. Don't worry, though. I won't die that easily. Foreshadowing? Can we watch TV? A bit too late for that, don't you think? It's not like we have neighbors that can complain. It's still bedtime for you. You'll have to sleep early if you want to grow bigger. You don't want to be small forever, do you? Of course not. I want to be bigger than you someday. Whoa, if we water you with enough blood, you will. I guess that will happen. Eventually. My building blocks. Be careful not to step on them, Mom. This is the best scene in the house. Because it's by the fireplace? No, because you always sit here. Damn. I'm trying so hard not to grin like an idiot. Sometimes I talk to the plants in my house like they're my siblings. They are... They are in spirit, son! Didn't I buy you a doll? Talk to that instead. I can talk to both. Besides, from what I read, it's good to talk to plants. Oh, yeah. Yeah, talk to plants. Hmm. Uh, so far, I like our protag. 
She's got like a very sharp look. I don't just mean like face angle, but just like how she presents herself. This is the front door. Sometimes I feel like hiding your hat so you can't go into town. Well, if it ever goes missing, I know who to blame. Hey, I never actually went through with it. Mom, where were we going? Nowhere, I'm just checking the lock. What's over here? Mom, that's on the way to my room. Can't go there either. They always talk about how pretty butterflies are, but I think they're pretty ugly. It's the wings that are pretty. And the wings are part of the butterfly. Yeah, but I think most people just never look at them up close. The purpose of this case is pretty ugly. It's all coily and stuff. I don't know if I should call him honest or vain. So this is your room? The one with the plants in front? I think they're plants. I shouldn't spend too much time here. Who knows where those people could be. I'm ready. Let's go for something short. The free little pigs? This will do. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Their old mother told them to start living on their own. And then the pigs died. The first little pig was very lazy and built a house out of straw. The second little pig was somewhat lazy too and built his house out of sticks. The third little pig worked hard all day and built his house with bricks. The next day a wolf happened to pass by and when he saw the straw house, he decided that the pig would make a mighty fine meal. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Let me in. No, 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 not by the hairs of my chitty chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. And so the wolf opened his jaws and blew his house down. And the wolf also realized he needed some dental work. The first little pig escaped and ran away to hide with the second little pig. Come back here, pig. I am and will not be denied my food chain. The stick house doesn't do much to withstand the wolf's onslaught either. And the two little pigs scrambled away as fast as the little hooves could carry them. I always felt bad for the wolf. I'm sorry. Wolves gotta eat. If nature was- if this was fair, right, you know, like nature and all that, the first two pigs should have died, okay? I don't care if it's like a tail and everything, it's supposed to teach you a lesson about working hard and stuff like that. The wolf should have won. So I'm just- I'm just saying. The two made it to the brick house and slammed the door closed before the wolf could catch them. Little ping, little ping, let me in, let me in. No, 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 not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin. He huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow the house down. The wolf danced about with rage and had a great idea. He would just come down the chimney. Actually, no, he changed his mind. He would just call the city inspectors to realize this house was built on illegal land and then get the house torn down because those pigs were not paying their taxes. But while he was climbing onto the roof, the third little pig made a blazing fire and put on a big pot full of water to boil. Look out, wolf! The little piggy put on the cover again, boiled the wolf up, and the three little pigs ate him for supper. Wait, they ate him? They ate him. Mom, do wolves taste good? I don't know, ask the pigs. I don't know. People don't usually eat wolves back in the city. Anyway, the wolf's meat isn't the point of the story. What is it then? Please don't be lazy. Da da na 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 na. Don't show mercy to trespassers. <laughs> this one. If that wolf didn't sneak in for the chimney, he wouldn't have suffered that fate. Hmm, I guess that makes sense. I still wouldn't eat them, though. What was that? That was lunch. Just some branches, I'm sure. Maybe it's a ghost. I've been trying to tell you that our house is haunted. This isn't the first time I've heard weird noises at night. 
It seems I'm not as quiet in my work as I thought. <laughs> Nonsense. I'll go and check. You stay here. Fine. Mom, don't go around reading every people's diary. You used to ask me to read them. Well, things change. It's, um, what do you call it? Puberty? Um... You are a ten-year-old child. He even put a padlock on it. I don't want to be a noisy mum, but... The shelf is filled with textbooks and other academical texts. It's Mr. Bear! Hey, how you doing? I'm Mr. Bear. Do you think I can... that you can give him a friend? I can. On your birthday. March is only a few weeks away now. Pick up your drawing supplies. But it's my bedtime. I'm all tucked in. You're gonna make your little cute little son go back out to the coldness of winter night? Yes. Fine. Do it in the morning. It's hard to say no to him. You're a pushover. Hold still. Ooh, a flashback. Why do I always have to wear so many layers? Because you'll get cold. But I feel fine, Mom. For now, yes. But you'll freeze to death in the winter. Because they're a plant. So even when it's like just a little bit chilly, they didn't, they're not the plant that handles the cold. They gotta like, bundle up. They'll just stay indoors by the fire. You can't stay inside forever. But when I go outside, you always fuss that someone will see me. In the summer, of curious tourists. Yes. Only the dead enter the forest in winter. But I want to go outside when it's sunny. Maybe I'm being too overprotective. He's missed out on enough. I can't give him a normal childhood. This is the least that I can do. If you promise to be careful, you can go out during the day, too. And also get new drawing supplies, and new books, too. Yes, yes, anything else you want? A, a Nintendo, maybe? Candy! The book you gave me had children eating candy during the fall. I think it was called Halloween, or something? Out of the question. Candy is unhealthy for you. But can I try just one, please? No. What have I always told you? You will eat your human meat. And you will go to bed. On time. Didn't you tell me to be more selfish before? I did. But I was talking about when your life is at stake. When that happens, always put yourself first. Don't hesitate to get rid of others if anyone stands in your way. Same thing doesn't apply to candies. Okay, Mom. Good. Now I've got some work to do. When I'm done, I'll go to town and get you the books. Human! Hey now. You're a rock star. Hello, hello, where are you running? You keep a lot of plants around the house. Mine as well. You think butterflies are pretty? Human. Human. Come on out. Are you in here? Are you under this table? No. Mm -hmm. You like to run and hide, huh? Mint's drawing. Eat the top one on your birthday. Happy 58th birthday, Mom. It's the 4th of November. You're getting old. Oh, you know. Science books. Your house are covered in books. I'm just doing the middle of nowhere. A picture that you used as a bookmark fell out. Hmm. You shoved it back inside. So we had a spouse? You say that you don't care about other people's acknowledgement. Yet you keep your awards with you even after all this time. I suppose we don't have literal magic. We are... We're an alchemist. I guess we worked on some stuff. Maybe we worked for like an umbrella company, right? You know, like Resident Evil. Log from the inside. The spare key should be in the storage. If you're in there, I will be right back, okay? Don't run away. Don't leave. 
I'm just gonna go sharpen my knives for a little bit. Make sure they're nice and ready for you. Old research files, they're pretty trivial. Mostly about the wildlife on the area. You wouldn't have left it carelessly out otherwise. It's winter. You haven't been doing as much laundry. It takes forever for clothes to dry in this weather. There's not much of view from here. You can see the night sky. Maybe that's enough. Balcony. I'll look at that later. Detergent, cleaner fluid, bleach. You have to keep it out of your son's reach. He keeps getting taller. Whoops. Well, this place is useless. Let's have a nice view. So the view is always useful. Hey, hey, hey! You didn't leave yet, right? Because if you're in there, don't leave. Don't leave now. Need some fresh meat around here. I'll check outside only after I check every nook and cranny. And do you have more to commentary when you're by yourself, or no? Exclusively for your son's tears, you don't really cry. An old television does the trick. The signal's bad here, so I can only watch DVDs and such. Mint's building blocks. Yeah, so there is different dialogue. It feels like he's a bit too old to still be playing with this. You need to buy more toys. You usually sit here while you watch him play. While thinking about simple pleasures. You wish these days can go on forever. Your son's sibling. <laughs> yeah, they did say the storage room. The first aid kit. The essentials are here. Thankfully, you never come across an actual emergency. This wouldn't be enough. Foreshadowing. Halloween decorations. You used to hang these around the house to scare people. It gets old real fast. Now I'm the scariest thing around here. There's the key. Soap and shampoo. You have to stock up a lot. You try not to go down too often. Coffee and tea. It's too bad that you can't share these with anyone. Fertilizers. You bought too much. He doesn't need anymore. You don't want to admit that the sight of fire does make your skin crawl. Ah, oh, I see loops. You fought the pictures and decorations and make the, your job seem less scary to your son. You have no idea if it actually works. Table for two. Your uninvited guests get served here. Bottles of spice and jam. You do season your food sometimes. Knives. Hardly use. You only cook for one. Your loyal coffee maker. Mince drawings and reminders for him to stay away from the fridge. Alright. You still here? You really thought that you could hide from me. Hey, how you doing? Is it your hobby to trespass in an innocent old lady's home? Oh, you don't look that old. You look pretty nice. Innocent? Oh. Please do tell me. What did I do? You're just trying to get information out of me. You got me. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'm just curious as to why you're in my home. Stay back! Why? What do you think I've done? Why are you so scared? I'm not telling you anything! Oh, they all talk later. Give enough work, everyone talks. You're just as useless as the other one. Now, let's see what they have. A detective badge and a newspaper clipping. 
Wait, this is... Oh, oh, I was right. Well, somewhat right. 20 years ago, remembering the Biogenics Laboratory fire. Today marks the 20th anniversary of the unfortunate incident at the Biogenics University, which left dozens of people dead and hundreds injured. The fire started in the university's West Wing Laboratory, famous for its research equipment. While the court has ruled the fire to be a case of negligence, alumni and current students are all still dissatisfied with the verdict, claiming foul play and undercover government projects being involved. There was evidence which suggested that illegal experiments were taking place in the facility, including traces of illegally obtained organs being found in the vicinity. The dean of the university refused to comment, insisting that they were unaware of the project's existence and that the rumors of homunculi being developed in labs are both ridiculous and impossible. Artificial humans are nothing but a myth! Homunculus, Latin for little man, is a concept popularized in the 16th century and by Phil Mel Alchemist. It was believed that it was possible to artificially create humans in a bottle, under certain circumstances. Homunculus were said to possess supernatural abilities, such as transmutation or walking on water, as they are born with all the knowledge in the world. They could similarly give these abilities to their creator. Magnolia Farragher, the only surviving member of the project's team, is still missing, and the incident remains shrouded in mystery even today. How does she have this honor? Today's uninvited guests are a group of detectives. And they're specifically tracking, too. It seems I've underestimated the severity of the situation. This is bad. Can you stop pestering me about it already? I think I deserve to know as your wife. You've been oddly tight-lipped about your new workplace. You used to tell me everything. Is it really that weird that I'm working under a non-disclosure agreement? I think that's common for this field. It's weird when I hear all kinds of shady rumors about your company. I know that the rumors about them buying organs illegally aren't unfounded. They were so desperate to bribe the press. Just what are you researching in there? If it bothers you that much, you're free to leave. You're throwing away all those years just like that. Magnolia, listen, I... No. You listen. If you don't want to respect my privacy, I'm always ready to file for divorce. I made it clear that my work would always come first. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How did it all come to this? Shit. If the 40s are here, they're going to find everything. Magnolia, help! No witnesses. You're all gonna burn, alright. If you survive this and blab to them, you're just gonna make things more messy. Don't take it too personally. Help me! I don't want to die! I just want to see Fring's fruit to the end. I had to clean this mess up. I can't let Mint see this by accident. I'll let her join her friend, I suppose. Carrying around a body, carrying around the body. Mint's rubber duck, cute. She tried to break the window down, huh? Too bad. I string it down exactly for this reason. It's dark and cold night, you can barely see anything. The trash can, you rummage through it. You found... Family soul. I mean, just trash. I don't know what you expected. A drain. Useful for cleaning up. No, you don't take your baths here. Mom! Mom! I finally told that kid to stay in bed. What's up? Oh, is that the ghost? Um... I'm transporting tomatoes. Do you need help to clean up? No, I think I'm fine. Shouldn't you be in bed? I got bored, but, well, be sure to clean up well, alright? Mint? What do you know? He knows. But how did I raise him so poorly that he thinks this is normal? That's a conversation for later. What is it, Mom? Just making sure you're safe. You really worry too much. Don't worry, I'm already ten. If you're already my age, that's no different from a baby.
Now, let's go back to looking around. The bodies are really hitting the floor over here. Hey! No, no, no. You can't hide in my library. You know that the magnolia is an ancient flower. They exist before bees are evolved and they've been pollinating using beetles. They are strong and sturdy, dating back to 95 million years ago. You sometimes wonder why your parents gave you this name. They never seem to like you very much. Mint is commonly used as a culinary herb, and they grow well in humid area and they can easily spread when left unchecked. It's often considered an invasive species. You should be careful when mixing it with another plant. Why did you name him Mint? You didn't. Mint is a nickname. Now you stay right there. Don't leave. Don't, no, 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 don't leave. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will be over there in one second. I'm just gonna read some stuff around here. You try your best to make this look like an actual school. You only manage to make a cheap imitation of one. Hey, 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 stay in your corner. Stay, 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 stay. A monoskeleton. Looks really like a real one. A blackboard. Use it to homeschool mint. Now, we can do this the quick and easy way, or we can do this the fun way for me. You take your pick. Come here! What are you doing in my house? Magnolia, you've changed. You know me. It's me, Orion. You really are self-centered, aren't you? All right, we were in the same class. My apologies. You've always been forgettable. I should have noticed it before. Notice what? How shrewd you are. Shrewd? This is coming from the person breaking into my house. You have no place to lecture me about ethics. It was something that needed to be done. You don't follow regulations. You don't care if anyone gets hurt. People have been disappearing here. How they always disappear wherever you go. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Stop playing dumb. We're not gonna let you get away with this. I can't say that I'm impressed by your career choice. I've already taken care of your partners, so nobody's going to save you. I'll bury you all together. At least, as a favor. You killed even Dove? Jesus, you really are one cold hearted bitch. Dove? Dove is here, too. Yes, and she'll stop you. Ha. I'd love to see her try. Really. Her being here doesn't really change anything. Must you really do this? What is wrong with you? You're missing the bigger picture. As always. Don't worry. I'll make this quick. Does he have anything useful on him? Wallet, badge, more files. Shit, nothing useful. I should try to find Dove. Or maybe she already left. She's more than this group of clowns. <laughs> October 21st. I've been trying to tell Mommy that the house is haunted, but she doesn't listen to me. Sometimes I hear weird noises at night, and I check the TV, but it's off. Where else can it come from? Sometimes the noise did come from Mommy's workplace, though, but she said I can't never go in there. Does she have a TV there, too? Did she forget to turn it off? And she told me that I'm wasting electricity. Huh. Ooh, another flashback. Hey, sorry I ran late today. I had to get dinner before coming here. So you dove? So long as you're here. I take it you've not heard much from Orion. He's barely showed up to our group meetings before. I doubt he'd show his face now. Well, that might also have to do with you yelling at him. Perhaps... He had it coming. Do you want to risk failing this class? I mean, no, I want to pass this class as much as you do. Good. Then let's get to work. I've already begun a draft of the poster. Did you find any relevant papers? I did. Actually, you could say I found too much research. We can make our poster on almost anything about the Human Genome Project. Then we'll just have to pick the best ones. Magnolia. Yes, Dove. I have to ask. You're harsh than everyone else. 
Why do you tolerate me? Tolerate you. You're dutiful, with a good sense of judgment. Two rare traits in academia. Now let me ask you. You spend an awful lot of time with someone you describe as harsh. Why is that? I think you're... wise. All those ideas about how to link ancient alchemy and science you've told me, Magnolia. I think they're all so wonderful. And I think it would be wonderful to see them come to fruition one day. I'm touched you think that. Most dismiss it as nonsense. But it doesn't matter. I'm doing this for myself. For now, we still have to get through college. Right, our project. I should stop reminiscing about my college days. Those days are gone. Mint, are you okay? He's gone. Where could he be? This damn lock. 5th of November. I want to go to the city, but mom will get sad if I sneak out. The password was uh, our birthday, by the way. She is mom, mom, after all, but I wish she would explain why I can't go down there. Every kids go to the city, too, with their parents, right? That's what they show on TV. Why do adults tell you that you can't do something just because they're older? I'm getting bored of books. 10th of December. I met someone in the forest today. I think she's just as old as mommy is. She said mommy isn't a good person. And not to tell her that we met. Oh, that's Dove. She was nice. She doesn't have any candies, but she told me that she'll bring me some next time. Lori knew that mommy does a lot of bad stuff. She thinks I don't know what I do. Don't know, but I do, rather. Mommy won't want to know that I know, though, so I'm keeping quiet. I don't want to see mommy sad. The books. Someone was here. Various bundles of chemicals. They couldn't have gone outside, right? Huh? Well, you got me. Congratulations. Was it really worth it? Chasing me for all these years. Cut the shit, Magnolia. I wouldn't be here if you didn't do what you did. Which one? You have to be more specific than that. Well, this is awkward. What should I say to her? Is it bad that I'm glad you're here? Why are you so obsessed with me? Where the hell is my son? Mom! Mint! Where are those kids' real parents, Magnolia? Are they dead too? Are they among the people that went missing because of you? How rude. I'm his real parent. I made him. Like, you procreate. Must you really worth it like that? Uh, no. I made him. Literally. It's easier to show you than tell. Take his hat off. What the hell is that? Uh, Sprout! You get it now. If you're here to stop my research, I regret to inform you. You're several years too late for that. He's a monculus. They say it's impossible, but I did it. I made him. All by myself. Centuries of research turned up unfruitful. And I did in less than a decade. Then all those research notes are about him. All those people you killed. Well, he's still in his growing stage. And this particular one feeds on blood. I couldn't let him go hungry, could I? Was it really a success? Huh? Can't you see that he's practically indistinguishable from humans? That's exactly it. I look for your research records. Your tests were all a failure. All those stories about magical things that a homunculus can do. They weren't true, were they? You couldn't prove that they're actually capable of doing such things. You just made a normal boy. Motherhood is resort in itself. It's true that he doesn't have a magical trove or a knowledge of magical powers, but... He calls me mom and draws things for me. Feels pretty magical, really. I've never pegged you as the motherly type. 
Fair enough. I didn't expect to be one either. How long have you waited to tell someone all this? A while. There must be another way to feed him. You didn't have to do all this. You're too optimistic as always. You won't know until you try. If you figure out what part of the blood he actually needs, it would be easy enough to find a substitute. I don't want to take the risk. If anything happened to him, I don't have the proper medical equipment to care for him. Then give him to me. I'll take him to the city. You can't be serious. Who knows what they would do to him. He's not human. Not everyone is an insane scientist like you are, Magnolia. This kid deserves to have a proper childhood. Not to be just kept around as your little science project. How dare you say that? I raised him the best I could. Huh? Mom, here! Gone. See? He's just like me. Too bad your savior complex blinds you from seeing that. Game over, Dove. Thanks for playing. It's been fun. Flat. Ice cold. Mom, look at the view. The train's going so fast. Don't get too close to the window, Mint. I'm sorry that we had to leave home so quickly. That place isn't safe anymore. At this rate, you'll grow up to be just like me. I'm not sure if I like that. Is this really the best for him? It's okay. As long as I'm with you. That's what's most important. We've just raised a future vampire. I love you, Mommy. With a mother complex. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. I love you too, Mint. You know, when we're more settled down, maybe we should start incorporating more things into your diet. Really? I finally get to eat candies? Ending A. Thank you for playing. Alright, we gotta go back to the other ending. Don't be lazy. I'm not lazy, I'm a super hard worker. I'm doing study tons today. I never said you were. It's simply typical for fairy tales to have a message behind them. I can hide the body under here. Hardly ideal, but I don't have much of a choice. Now back to looking around. I'm touched that you still think of me, even after all this time. How did we turn out like this, Magnolia? Maybe in another life, things could have ended differently. Huh, <laughs> I'm down it. At your core, you've always been too straight-laced for me. You might be right. Which opposite track was actually true. To be fair, I think that only single goes to surface-level differences. Like cat people or dog people. Introverts and extroverts. Not a murderer and a detective who's trying to make things right. Playing hero now. Mom! Mint. There are people that are going to understand. You have more trust than other people, Magnolia. You and me. We both can see this kid is just like any other. I can't go back. You're just going to throw me to jail, aren't you? Unfortunately, you've done things that I can't just ignore. I'll promise I'll take good care of your son. We'll visit you. How nice. How many years do you think I'll get? Probably life. Will you really keep coming for that long? We're not young anymore. We both might die before my sentence ends. I've chased you long enough. Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? Too bad rotting quietly in jail isn't really my style. I'll leave him to you. Mint, be a good boy and listen to her, all right? Think of her as your mom, too. Mom? Dove, you better keep your promise. I'll always be watching you both. I know I, What? She disappeared. Mom? At first I thought you were like, oh, you were gonna like die or something, but no, you just escaped. Deep within the forest there was a grove where the tree branches grasped and clawed your neck, and the air is a thick miasma choking the very life out of you. In the center of the grove lies the witch's house, arrogant, mighty, and wretched. The witch vanished without a trace, leaving her creation and possessions behind. The chapter closed without an ending. No living soul knows what became of her. 
With time, the dusty files about her sin's life are gotten. Life moves on. New stories are being written. But there are some still stuck in the past. After all, that witch was my mother. Are you sure that you'll be fine by yourself? I'll be quick. I doubt that you have any good memories here. You've really grown up. Yell for me if anything's weird's going on, alright? I will. Thanks, Duff. In the end, I can never bring myself to call her my mom. I'm glad that she never pushed me to, either. Home sweet home, I guess. Considering everything that happened, it's impressive how ordinary I turned out. So I'm going to assume this is going to be the canon ending. Because the other ending implies, like... Magnolia is supposed to still get her just desserts to a certain level. Because even if she's the protag, she is a bad person, I suppose you'd say. Some files are left behind. Let's see. This is a project report. Despite all my best efforts, the homunculus project was a failure. He is nothing more than a normal boy, and I will raise him as such. Is this about me? Oh, you have your mom's eyes. Door's locked. Or maybe someone's blocking it. Oh, so people will ransack the house, but will leave my drawing. My current art skill's not much better. I guess I was never an artist. It's locked. Where my mom uses a passcode. Three numbers is a date. This was, uh, whenever we saw this in the book at the start of the game. It's surprisingly clean. I guess because it's locked. It's the first time I've been here. I guess looking back, I didn't really want to know what she's up to in here. I wonder if Magnolia's down here somehow. Wait, this blood. The smell. It's fresh. It can't be. This laboratory's still in use. It is. Welcome home. Mom! Ending B. Thank you for playing. Yeah, so Magnolia... I guess they ran, and then came back later. Hiding in the most obvious place. So that's it for Symbiosis. So you can kind of figure it out just by seeing the last ending, which I can say I think is kind of the canon one currently. But the dev does confirm on the uh, the game page, if you like look at their news posts, that yeah, Magnolia did not give up on the Homunculus project. They're, they're still trying to make them. So, I mean, they're not a good person. Like they, they did care for Mint, but they are science and alchemy to the end. They are that cliche. So the ending where they win, it's sort of like probably not, it's that probably like the closest thing you have to a bad ending, because it implies that Mint's gonna grow up to be very like brutal themselves, and that's not the ideal <laughs> outcome, I guess. Uh, and the dev also said that this game's not technically finished. The uh, it was part of a game jam, and this is the final game jam build, the most updated version of it. They have a much bigger update with more endings. Making it longer, more scenes, etc., etc., coming at some point. Maybe later this year. I'm not sure when it's ever is coming. So maybe we'll return for that one later on down the line. But I actually like this quite a bit. Some people don't like games where you play the, the antagonist, the bad person, but I'm fine with it. Because in the horror kind of genre, it, a lot of times the monster wins, right? Sometimes the monster loses, sometimes they win. But it is what it is, right? So I'm fine with those different perspectives. And it's kind of fun to have a character that's just, so, like, so cold. Like, unapologetically cold. There's no, I'm secretly a good person just trying to cure cancer. Like, no, they are a true-hearted, like, old-school alchemist who are, like, trying to find the root or the, the philosopher's stone, like, that kind of cliche stuff, like I mentioned earlier. And they don't redeem them in. Maybe in the new endings that they make, maybe they'll do some redemption kind of stuff. I, I have my doubts. 
But it's an overall, it's got like a nice, almost family kind of feel to the story, but it's also like brutal. Like it, it is a, a horror story. Bad things happen. So I like that balance. It's a bit of a tragedy overall with a slightly happy ending. And I'm also assuming based on Mint being able to grow into adult that they did find a way to just not have to murder people for blood. Because here's the thing. Magnolia says, like, oh, I didn't want to risk it. I have to, like, murder people for blood. That's the safest way to do this experiment, etc., etc. I don't believe that's true whatsoever. I feel like Magnolia is very cold. And just, they just like killing people. First off, these people are kind of, like, snooping around. So they kill them. And, like, well, I might as well use them while I can. And secondly, I think they use them for experiments and stuff like that. Because finding an alternate way to feed meant probably was pretty easy. But, yeah. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching me play Symbiosis. I'll see you guys later. And take it easy.